In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to do a landscape material. So what this will allow us to do is draw different uh, textures or materials onto different parts of the map. So what I've done here is created a quick landscape with um, a, just a mountain and a riverbed and then just a normal flat ground. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to have grass on the normal ground, rock on the mountain and then a different kind of rock so like sandy type rock on the riverbed so what we need to do first is we need to create a material so if you right click somewhere empty in the content browser and then create a material i'm just going to call this landscape map and then we've got this here so what we need to do is we need to put everything through a landscape uh, landscape layer blend so everything will go through this so if you're familiar with how to create your own materials you might know it as putting the texture into the base color but what we're going to do we're going to put everything through a layer blend so what we need to do is find some textures that we want to use so I'm going to use um, sandstone for one of them so that's going to be the riverbed one basalt for the mountain and i'm going to get grass for the normal ground so what we then need to do so we've got these three here so we're not going to link them up to anything here we're going to link it up to this layer blend but we need to add those options in first so click the layer blend node and then on the left you can see it's got layers and then array elements so we need to add three so click that three times and you'll get three options here so if we drop these down, we can name it. So I'm going to name the top one grass. Uh, we're going to, uh, actually, we're just going to name them and then we'll link them up through this. So as long as we name them, it's easy to then uh, know which ones we need to be selecting once we're actually painting uh, within engine again. So I'm going to do rock. And then I'm going to call this sand. Even though it's sandstone, uh, I'm just doing it for the purposes of showing. So we've got grass, rock and sand. Link up to the base colour. Um, so the actual preview won't do anything because it's all going through this layer blend. But once we put it onto the landscape, we'll be able to then paint um, these three different textures in a nice smooth way. So what we can also do... As long as it goes through this, we can put any texture to link up. So I'm going to put a normal in as well. So if I get the grass, if I get the um, sandstone one and the basalt one. So if I put this in the exact same order, so grass on that one, basalt on this one, and then sandstone on that one. So it can get a little bit messy with all the different textures that need to be in. So I'll just try and keep it as neat as possible. So now we've got a normal and a base color linked up. Um, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put the roughness as something like 0 0.9. So hopefully once we put this onto the uh, landscape, this will then allow us to paint these different things. So if we close this, so press apply on that material, and then what we need to do is go to select mode select the terrain that you've got so select the terrain that you've got on the very right on the details panel scroll down until you see landscape material if you don't see this you might not be in select mode so change to select mode in top left and then put the landscape material that we've just created into that so it will all look like this because we need to um initialize things so if we go to paint, so go back to landscape mode, go to paint, and now we've got these options. So grass, rock, and sand. So what we need to do, we need to create layer info, otherwise we can't paint. So as it's saying, if you try and paint without it, you need to add some layer info. So what we can do is weight blended layer. So just add one of these and it'll try and make a new folder. So you can just put it into the folder that it makes or you can make your own folder and put it into there. I'm just going to do the one that it makes. So if we then do that for each of them, we can then start to paint them in. 
So we've got grass there. So the top meter, uh, the top texture that you have, it will just paste that all over the landscape. So this is good for having just a base. So if you've got like dirt under grass, maybe have dirt as the top one, and then it'll just paint dirt on it, and then you can paint grass over. So if I select rock now, if I start to paint this, it'll start to initialize it, but it'll start to override it there. So this is where you put the brush size down, you put the strength up maybe, and the fall off if you want it smooth transition. And then you can start painting that. So I'm going to put some sand on as well. So every time you paint on a new sector with a new texture, it'll do that little initialization. But once it's done that, then it'll all be smooth. So we can start painting this in. We can smooth it. So this is obviously quite a harsh thing. So if we up the tool strength and start smoothing. Oh yeah. So you need to select the uh, one of the textures that you want into smooth and then it'll start to smooth it out. So if I put the brush size down, start to smooth that, then it's not as quite a harsh a transition. So another thing is you can see that this texture is re repeating quite badly. So you can start, you can see the uh, repetitiveness quite easily. So a way to get around that is to do what's called a text coordinate. So if you right click somewhere blank and just search text, it will then uh, have this. So put a text chord. So if you search text, it will automatically select text coordinate and just link that up to the UV portion. So link up to the UV at the left of the texture sample and then start to put a number that's smaller than one. So if we do 0 0.2 on both, apply that. So I've not done it for normal, but you would want to do it for the normal. I'm just doing this for a showcase. So as we can see there, the texture has been stretched out a lot more and it's not as apparent on here. So if I put that back, I'll show you. So, so if I apply this now, you can see it's gone back. So if we then put that back to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, apply that, now it's become a lot less apparent that it's repeating. I'm not sure why it's still looking like that for this. Why is that because it's... Ah, I think that's the normal. So what we are going to do, we are going to do it for the normal as well. So just copy paste that. Put that into the UV. I think that with the lighting doing that rather than the actual texture. Yeah, okay. So... There we can see it's not repeating as much. So now that the pattern is not as noticeable, you would then break it up even more with stuff like trees, bushes, um, bits of snow, um, loads of different props that break up the actual repetitiveness. But at that stage, it was very clear that it was repeating. So text coordinate, put the UV tiling and uh, less than one. So don't put it more than one. So it'll repeat uh, on a larger scale. Um, and that's how you make a very basic uh, landscape material that you can paint different textures onto.